sign was the shimmering line and crack in the flow. The light that frayed the edges and the sky hanging low. Pack up your bags and be gone for the song of the wild. Let us leave the musty mire of materialism and head out, head high to the banks of the big old hazy, where darkness and light are not sides to be chosen, but inevitabilities to be accepted, where Huckleberry guides you away from the forced passivity and onslaught of slogan and catchphrase, and Jim liberates you from the slavery and myth of the grand illusion we perpetuate with our every conditioned thought. Let us find footholds on these slippery slopes so we don't sink into emotional stasis and sloth, so that we can see without being told to see and feel without being told what to feel, so that we can recognize the false from the true, those who mean it and those who don't, those who will limit your realm of experience and those who will expand it so that you can in turn expand it for others. The music we will hear on the way will not chain us to circles of egocentric pity concerning nobody from long ago. It will not sell you one dimensional acoustic emotion glossed over with a sheen of crocodile tears, forced and devoid of integrity. It will not digitalize or copy and paste or airbrush the human from itself or force you to walk the plank of metronomic monotony to the sharks waiting to consume the flesh from your bones, the money in your pocket and the soul from your being. It won't scream at you like a self-entitled petulant brat or bore you and patronize you like a pompous bureaucrat. It won't manipulate you for its own gain or assimilate you to a false rhetoric. It won't make you cool or trendy or better looking. It won't enlarge your penis or make your boobs grow. It won't make you part of the subservient in-crowd who whoop and holler but don't even know what it is they're supposed to be celebrating, except perhaps their uniformity. It won't be shiny and perfect, but it will be 100% honest. It will provide a soundtrack to existence, a four in the morning ode to the unknown, a backdrop of honesty to not feel alone in the confusion. A reminder that you are not a machine or a number, but an animate entity searching for meaning in the chaos. As nighttime draws near, you hear the gentle picking of a guitar and a voice wavering low and true in the recesses. The faint drone of the Indian Ezraj can be heard bubbling up from the chasm. As your eyes go from star to star, you can hear the fiddler, the accordion player, the plucking and bowing of instruments that you're unfamiliar with. Somewhere in the distance, the primal pulse of percussion pushes these sounds deeper, while the words penetrate your waking mind, soon to be lost in the realms of unconsciousness. In a blaze of imperfect glory, help me to help us take the last few steps together. You must fetch and bring everything they have. But look behind their eyes, closer, deep inside, ain't nothing but a mask. Huckleberry, Jim and me, floating down the Mississippi. Hooks and dragon, Jim, it's free And I'm playing this melody Can't you see, can't you see Lord, I'm playing this melody So why do you run?